Hey guys, so I just did a swatch comparison of the LA Colors Truly Matte Foundation. I ended up buying four of these foundations because I just could not find my exact shade. The first two I got were way too dark and then the next two I got were way too light. So I ended up having to mix them all to get my correct shade, but luckily these foundations are only $6 so it was more affordable to buy four different shades it would pretty much equal a high-end foundation but this foundation has full coverage it works great with oily skin and it hasn't broken me out so i am really really pleased with this foundation it is my holy grail for now until a better one comes along but i got the four lightest shades i have porcelain natural soft beige and golden beige so i swatched them all on my cheeks so you guys could see and then i also waited for them to oxidize so you guys could see the difference once they actually dry and settle down and then i just showed you how i do my whole face and what kind of concoction i make to mix my foundations to get the perfect shade but this is how it looks i am in love with this foundation it is amazing and definitely underrated so if you guys want to see these swatch comparisons and try to match your perfect shade because i know it can be frustrating when you're online and the swatches look nothing like they do when they come in the mail so if you are having the same headache that i did online trying to find your perfect shade then just keep on watching okay so i'm gonna go from lightest to darkest so this is porcelain This next one is in natural. This one actually matches me the closest. It's a little ashy, so I do like to mix it with um, porcelain and a little bit of either golden beige or soft beige because they are both like more yellowy undertones. So then I'm going in with soft beige. This would probably match me in the summertime, but right now, no. So this is soft beige. And then the last one is golden beige. So I'm gonna let these sit because these foundations do oxidize a bit. So we're, I'm gonna come back and like five minutes and show you guys what the colors look like once they are dried but just a reminder this is porcelain this is natural this is soft beige and the last one is golden beige and i believe there's one more it's a nude but it just looked way too yellow for me so i did not pick that one up okay so these are the foundations dried down so as you can see they are very close, but there's just not a color that matches me like perfectly, so that's why I kind of have to mix them. So I'll show you guys my little concoction that I make up mixing them, and then I will just apply it like I normally would. So just a reminder again, this is porcelain, natural, soft beige, and then golden beige. If you guys are trying to match your shade, I know it's very difficult because the colors are just like, what? Like if I put porcelain all over my skin, it would be way too pale. This would be too gray, and then these two are clearly way too dark. Um, so I'm just gonna show you guys how I get my perfect match. Hopefully you don't have to buy like four foundations to get a perfect match. I just did, but this foundation is really, really good. So if you haven't tried it, I would recommend it. They just need to, I don't know, either I need to get tanner or they just need to come out with a color that kind of matches me. First, going to prime with my No Problem Primer. I love this stuff. And I have my sunglasses on because they're kind of stuck in my hair and I just don't feel like redoing my bun right now. I got these from Forever. They were like five bucks and they're super cute. Okay, so this is my little concoction I make. I do one pump of porcelain. Then I do two pumps of natural. And then I usually do like half a pump of golden beige just to bring that yellowness back. Then I'm just going to take a concealer brush and mix them together. Sometimes I need to add a bit more of porcelain, but usually it's a pretty good match. See, so that's a pretty good match. So I'm just going to apply this really, really quick. Let me grab a mirror. And I'm just applying this with my beauty blender. And like look how well that covers you guys. So I just start on the outside of my face and work my way in. 
I love this foundation. Like, I cannot get enough of it. It is amazing coverage for the price. And especially because I have, like, acne scars down here, it just covers them right up. It's amazing. So once I do under my eyes, it won't look as crazy. Since I do have a baby, my bags are ridiculous. So I like to go in with a lighter Studio Fix concealer from MAC. And then under that, or over that, I put my MAC uh, Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20. I don't know why, I just blanked on the name of that. Then I'm going to go in with this concealer. I swear this concealer is like paint. When the rest of my foundation like rubs off, this stuff stays. It's crazy. A little bit of my chin. Then I'm just going to set that with my RCMA translucent powder. I love this stuff. And I like to start on the outside and work my way in. Because I notice if I put too much powder under my eyes, it makes me look 40 years old with the wrinkles. So by starting on the outside and then bringing the excess product in, you reduce like your under eye looking as cakey. And I also notice with this powder, if I like bake on areas where my nose gets big pores, it just kind of fills them in and smooths them out. And I believe this powder is like $12 or something, so really affordable. I'm gonna finish the rest of my face and then I will be right back, but this is how it's looking. Okay you guys, so this is how the foundation looks with bronzer on and highlighter and all that jazz. I'm in love with this foundation. I have super oily skin and it works great with it. So I hope this helped you out when picking out a shade for this foundation because I know it can be a little frustrating, especially because the swatches online look nothing like the foundation does. So hopefully this comparison helps you when you're online shopping buying a foundation. I hope Ulta or somewhere gets this foundation so that you know you can swatch it and find your correct shade. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.